welcome to today's video. I'm sure you guys already know, but if you didn't, based on my previous upload, we are getting rid of the Civic Type R. What an amazing five year journey with this car. I've learned a ton, made a lot of friends, and I don't think my YouTube channel would be where it's at without this car. That being said, all things must come to an end, I guess. I can at least say I've done everything I've wanted to do to the car. I feel it is time to move on now. At the end of the day, what I enjoy most is creating content for myself and you guys. And lately I felt like my content has been quite stale in my opinion. So realistically speaking and financially speaking, parting ways with this car and using the funds to jump onto a fresh new platform as well as focus on the BRZ build would be most beneficial for the channel. As much as I wanna keep the car for the sake of my sanity and for your entertainment, I think this is the smartest choice. Maybe someday in the future, I'll jump back into a Type R, who knows? But I hope you guys stick along for the journey. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the future content. Also, we got some fresh new merch, Spam Subi Media t-shirt. It's got a front design, back design, and a woven tag on the sleeve. So today, what I wanted to do was one final walk around of the entire car. Kind of like what I did with my old BRZ before I parted ways. I'm gonna try my best to cover every modification in chronological order to the best of my memory. Starting with exhaust. I think that was one of the first things I did to the car. One of my earlier exhaust setups was the Blitz Nurse Spec catback. Good looking exhaust, very JDM. However, it was extremely quiet. Not, it's not like crazy loud or anything, but it's cute. And it droned. I don't know how they made it quiet and drone, <laughs> uh, but I got rid of that pretty quickly and instead I found a used Miltec non-resonated catback. And this one was miles better. Okay. It was much louder and it actually doesn't drone. I don't know how Miltec engineered it, but it is loud and it has pretty much no drone. I don't know what the resonated one sounds like, but I imagine it's just a little bit quieter. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Miltec exhaust. It's loud, good tone, no drone. Honestly, one of the more unique sounding exhausts. It makes the car sound almost European. While we're back here, as you can see the logo, Carew's design. I am running their rear wing aero flap. This is actually a prototype, one of the first ones, so there is no badging. Yeah, it just adds a rear lip to the deck of the wing. Pretty subtle, OEM plus. Pretty soon after, I believe we installed a PRL intake. Above, we have the Blitz strut tower brace. Don't mind the dusty engine bay. I do go off track a lot and I haven't had time to clean it. Oh shit, spam. Oh, oh he spun out again. Oh, I got it again. Other than intake and motor mounts, it is pretty stock. This is my daily slash weekend track car. So the car from factory was plenty for me. By the way, if you guys need help installing the intake, I have a full in-depth step-by-step guide on how to install the intake on my channel. Okay, moving on below, we got some aero. This is the EVS tuning carbon fiber front lip and underneath is the battle aero chassis mounted front splitter. And right above, we have Mugen fog light garnishes. And if you guys are curious, this is just a stock fog light. I cracked it open and painted the chrome myself. Moving on, we got the Varus Arising side skirts. Shout out to Caleb. We spent hours on end installing this at the shop. But it was pretty fun. And the fitment is great. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of track damage. I do track the car quite often. 
this right here was one of the first times I damaged it. I went off on Streets of Willow and I caught some rocks. Ugh. She's not perfect, but she's mine. Plus, I think it adds a lot of character. You know, cars are meant to be driven. And I drive the shit out of this car. Okay, coming back to the rear end. I got rid of all the fake carbon that comes with the FK8 Type R. So this here is the Sabon OEM replacement, except it is in glossy carbon. So much better than the fake carbon that comes with the car. Also replaced this. This is a 2021 model uh, rear garnish with actual lights that light up when you hit the brakes. And underneath is the Varus carbon diffuser. This was a bitch to install. Okay, let's get to the interior. My interior is pretty simple. Dry carbon, flat bottom steering wheel. Very girthy. It's thicker than the OEM steering wheel. I got this on eBay. Over here we have the hybrid racing short shifter. It's a little shorter than stock, very notchy. I like it. And above we have a Lathworks titanium teardrop shift knob with the gearing engraved. And then right here we have, let me pull it out for you guys. This is a carbon fiber shift plate made specifically for the hybrid racing shifter. I think one time I dropped a chicken nugget in here. <laughs> All this you see here has been reupholstered. This is suede it. Napa leather. Originally on the Type R, all of this is like this black cloth that gets kind of gross. Same with the gauge cluster hood above. This is all suede. It we got the red leather with the white stitching and the black leather with the red stitching to match the seats. I honestly really enjoy the stock seats. They're super comfortable and they still keep me in place at the track. All right, I guess we should talk about wheels and suspension. Ah, dude, what the. For this set of wheels, I was on Volk TE37s in bronze. That was a squared setup, so it was much more conservative than what we have right now. But now we are on a reverse staggered setup, meaning up front we have 18 by 10 and a half plus 24, and in the rear, 18 by 9 and a half plus 20. So pretty aggressive spec. Not a lot of people do this. Bridgestone RE71 RSs, 29535 up front, 25535 in the back. While we're here, you can't really see, but we are running CSG spec brake pads. Amazing track pads. The performance is insane. They last a long time as well. So shout out to CSG. Suspension, we are running RSR Best Eye Coilovers. One of the only coilover systems to retain the factory active dampening. Definitely check out RSR USA if you guys want suspension for your Type R or any other cars. Jane has it on her Supra and she's super happy with it. We're running negative four camber all around just so we can fit the meat. Rear control arms allowing us to get camber all around. Up front we have no rubbing issues because we are running the Sabre Design 25 millimeter wide front fenders. It does come with a carbon blade that comes down and attaches to the side skirt. I opted to leave it off because I just like how this looks better. That is how we are fitting these massive spec wheels and tires. Okay, and then one of the last things I threw on the car was this hood. We have a custom carbon fiber hood. I'm always worried if I park in public, somebody's just gonna reach in there and like mess with my car. <laughs> or when it rains. Yeah, it's about it, I think. We are coming to the end of the mod list. Obviously, we have the livery designed by Livery Magic. Shout out to Oni Wraps as well for wrapping the car. The car original paint is rally red. The only thing wrapped is this fender. Can't really tell because the match is so good. This is Carmine Red. I mean, I guess you can kind of see here is a little different, but overall matches pretty well. They also did all the decals and graphics. Yeah, shout out Oni Wraps. The design is based off of Gundam Astray Red Frame. After five years of ownership, this has proven to be one of the greatest. It's fast, it's manual, plenty of space, and overall just drives amazing. Honda really knocked it out of the park with this car. People are telling me to get the FL5, but honestly, it's just, it's too similar. It'd just be the same content on my channel. I've driven a Type S. It's, it feels just like this, except more comfortable and luxurious. That would be my ideal daily, but not for content. 
If you guys want to check out any of the past videos, I have an entire Civic Type R build playlist on my channel documenting everything we did to the car since day one. So check that out if you missed anything. To my day one subscribers and supporters, I really appreciate it. Thank you for always watching and supporting the merch and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm excited to move on to this next chapter. I think there's plenty of room for growth for me and my channel. And I'm really excited to pump out some fresh new content for you guys. Also, don't forget to check out my latest cinematic farewell film, Boba Run. I spent many, many months planning and filming that. I think you guys will really enjoy that. Plus all of the raw footage from that film is gonna be available on my Patreon for download if you guys ever wanna practice editing. All right, well that's it for today's video. Do one last good walk around of the car. God, she's so beautiful. I honestly never thought I would own one of these cars because when they first came out, I thought they were ugly but man, it really grows on you, especially with the right mods. Some will say this is overkill. The car is kind of ricey from the factory or yada, yada, yada. I just love how this car drives, looks, everything. It looks like a Gundam. Yeah, who can guess? Who can guess what the next build is? Put it in the comments below. Uh, if you're right, I will uh, kiss you. Thank you.